I am currently in the process of making over five different spaces, so I thought it was a perfect opportunity this week to slow down, finish out my sponsorship with Quickrete, and bring to you just a simple wood concrete coat rack that I made for the mini humans room that any of you guys can do as well. I ripped down five pieces to create the mold for this coat rack with the excess melamine that I had from my concrete and wooden bench that I made a while ago. Before screwing the mold together, I decided to measure and mark out where I wanted to put the word fearless across the back of that mold since we need to glue those on prior to pouring the concrete in. I decided to space the letters out evenly and put it in the center, but it is not my way or the highway. I think it would look really awesome doing like a quote down on the bottom left hand corner and just having like a ton of empty concrete space, but it's totally up to you and your aesthetic. I flipped the letters backwards because obviously when we flip the mold, you want to be able to read the word and I secured it right on there with some wood glue. I screwed together the mold and then opted out of the silicone step just because I wasn't feeling like I had the time or the patience and poured the quick read right in. Poured the quick read in, I vibrated the bubbles out and I let it sit for two days and then removed the mold and I actually thought the letters were gonna pop out. On contrary, my friends, they got stuck, so I had to take a little nail and a hammer and just kind of finagle those out. There was a little bit of a trim that you could see once it was dry and I just didn't like it. It looked a little too unfinished, which led me to wanting to frame this. So what I did was lower my table saw blade to be the thickness of that concrete. I found a piece of wood, like a trim piece of wood that I had on hand that happened to be the thickness of the concrete as well. I moved my fence over. You can make this lip super deep if you want to. I just needed it to be very shallow. So again, it's kind of custom to you. And I just went through and cut the pieces of wood to cover the sides of that concrete and just the little lip of the trim that I wasn't liking. I am so terrible at explaining this since it is new to me as well. I linked my dear friend Lizzie from House of Timbers Instagram down below because she has a highlight reel on there walking you through this step by step at a much more like like a way you can actually understand. <laughs> I mitered my edges at a 45 degree angle and honestly to my surprise this sort of came together and was my first legit DIY frame. I flipped the frame upside down and wood glued the corners together, grabbed a clamp and just made it nice and snug and let it just sit for just a second before I went in with my pin nailer to really secure the entire thing together. I sanded the edges to be smooth with one another. If they were a little off, again, this is like my first go at it, so I did have to correct a few things and went in with a summer oak stain and poly blend. I let the stain sit to dry overnight, went back in in the morning with some concrete adhesive on the inside lip of the frame and popped the quick read little saying into place. On the bottom of the frame, I measured and marked where I was going to pre-drill some holes for the hooks for the coats and all her things. I linked everything in the description down below for you that I am using. The only thing that's going to be different are the hooks. I do think I, actually I know I'm going to have to replace them because these are just a little too sharp. I feel like they're gonna poke a hole through anything she's hanging up if it's like clothing wise. Bags are totally fine, but that's why you, you'll see there's different hooks for you linked below. You guys always ask me how I hang things up. They're just these simple picture framing clips that I pick up from Home Depot. The reason I didn't go with a crazy color or a deep color for the stain of the frame is because the mini human I am going to be making over her bedroom and it's very minimalistic. There's no deep woods that she wants throughout her room. That's more like this plywood or natural wood color. So that's why I'm sticking to that. I personally am such a fan of this DIY because you don't have to make that concrete as thick like I did. You can make these smaller and make them even more individualized for your children in the mudroom if you want to just have like a moment for them to throw their bags or their jackets or what have you. But for her room, I wanted her to have a consistent daily reminder to face every day fearlessly and that she's got this. It's just a little like, oh, you're heading out the door. Don't forget to grab your bag and to be fearless. 
Thank you so much QuickRate for sponsoring today's video and just the series of me dabbling with your product and learning with my subscribers. I hope that you guys enjoyed it as much as I have. Yes, it's been frustrating at times, but how else are we gonna learn? All right, I absolutely need to go back to these makeovers. I cannot wait to share them with you guys. There are so many good ones. Well, I hope that you guys like them. But anyways, I will catch you next Wednesday for another DIY. Thank you.